My dearest Margaret, following our last conversation, I believe it might be better if you vacate your position here at Kew Gardens. As you pointed out quite bluntly, you, no long, you are no longer in need of my support. You are quite able to stand up for yourself in this world, as you say. Well, I'll give you back your freedom and wish you nothing but luck. Ooh, so he had a breakup with a girl named Margaret. Deduction time. Let's see. Oh. Wait, Margaret. <laughs> Margaret is that girl. Turn my phone off. My phone's annoying me. Um. So, he wanted to fire that girl. Then he died. So, he wanted to fire Miss White. And perhaps... Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. He wanted to fire her, then she then he died. Newspapers discussing Kew Gardens. The Kew Gardens teams are pleased to announce the successful production of a new variety of barley, one that retains a complete resistance to the cold. The name of the Siberian barley. Mr. Martin Hamish, the proud cultivator of the graph, will hold a press conference next Monday morning upon this very subject. Now it's getting interesting. She wanted her freedom. He was gonna give it to her. And he died. A photograph of Montague Dunn and Reynold Hamish. Who's Reynold Hamish? Martin Hamish. Who's Reynold Hamish? Yep, he's a bad guy. Three people could have wanted him dead for three different reasons. Oh no. <laughs> this is always fun. I have no clue how to do this. Okay, got it. Watch this. Okay. So, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so. Okay. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Watch like this. Here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, 
One, two, three, four. One. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's two, three, five. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, here we go. What's in the safe? This is fun stuff. Breaking, breaking into people's homes, stealing their stuff. <laughs> My dear friend, please allow me to express my disappointment upon reading your last letter. I will, I'm paying you to defend me, not to accuse me. Kew Gardens is a royal institution. We are granted the great opportunity to travel the world to save the most extraordinary, precious, and rare plants, species of plants. Our duty is to protect such species, and from those who might wish to use them for dubious purpose. This divine syndicate of whom you speak have no right to hold such precious plants. Remember the case of June 14, 1889. So I must respectfully ask you to once again to notarize the permissions on these plants on behalf of Kew Gardens. The documents were sent to you on Monday. See you in the boodles on Tuesday as always. What have you done? So it's a letter to a lawyer. Okay, so Montague Dunn is not on the side of this divine syndicate. This divine syndicate might be rivals. And they may be actually enemies to him. Interesting. So, yeah, they're probably enemies. Alright. What else is in here? Mr. Dunn, this letter to Mr. Dunn, we must ask you for the last time for the return of our dear sisters. You do not have any right to hold them imprisoned. They do not belong to you. Your so-called permissions are wholly false. You are hiding behind lies. The lie we need, we need not elaborate that was reported in the press is the case of June 14th, 1889. So June 14th, 1889 was a big day. What you have done is quite aberrant. Be sure that we shall never abandon our family members. We trusted you and regret having done so. All right, so I'm thinking the Divine Syndicate broke in and stole these things, these certain plants. They viewed as being real life people, sisters. And something happened on June 14th. I need to go home, I need to go home to my newspaper to check out what happened on June 14th. Yes, I see you texting me real quick. Okay. I suggest that we don't tell Miss Margaret White about this document. Ooh. The debt of Miss Margaret White to Mr. Montague Dunn. Rental of a suit, a suite of rooms at Oxford Street. An educational scholarship at the London University. Credits opened at Hamilton. Radigan House, Taylor's. And at Baird and Johnson Stuxy Jewels. What? So she's in debt to Mr. She's in debt to Mr. Montague Dunn. Interesting. Maybe he was her sugar daddy. 
That's how it looks. And he's keeping track of it. This is a very difficult case. Okay, deductions. Mm hmm. The money the Matic McDonough regularly gave to Miss White far exceeded the needs of a student. So, X here and White's expulsion. There it is, there's a link here. Mrs. White and Mr. Dunn had a recent disagreement. Montague Dunn was planning to release Miss White from her position as a Kew Guard, but they. Yeah. some questions, shall we? So I broke into his house. Yes. Many people who wanted him dead. Let's ask him a few questions. Just be careful with the plants during your inspection. Nothing new to say. Look around here real quick for some clues. Any clues around here? Talk to his son. Hmm. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Divine Syndicate? No, I cannot say that I have. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Alright, no one knows who the Divine Syndicate is, okay. Bunch of zealots. People who love plants too much. That's what they restored. Do not touch. Where he died, if you remember. This is where he got poisoned from here. According to this, they have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. Too much. So they probably stole it. I'm pretty sure they stole it. But that might not have anything to do with the murder. That could be two separate events. Or a coordinated event. Maybe one of these people worked for the Divine. Maybe one of these people, maybe the son is part of the Divine. The crazies. Alright, this will be interesting. Only one question for her? Come on. The Divine Syndicate. Does that name mean anything to you, by any chance? Not at all. But it is a very pretty name. Thank you, Mr.